I saw Michelle, Renee, and Colleen walk through the door, and then Philip was lagging behind, and I knew my mom had left. I felt like, you know, a little piece of me had left. You know, I wasn't even the one who wanted to come here. And she pushed and pushed for me to, to get on the bandwagon with her, and I'm so glad she did because this has completely changed both of our lives. And uh, I'm just really happy I got to come here with her. I'm not, I can't talk to anybody right now. I'm sorry. Okay. The black team, I'm not sure why they voted the way they did, um, but it wasn't our decision. You know, ultimately it was their decision. And I'm determined to make it to the end for me, not only for my mother, but for me, and that's what she wanted from day one. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi. I came in today to find out who was eliminated, and it turns out it was Chalet. All right. Yeah, that must have sucked. Major. Losing Chalet, that was pretty tough. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. But as the black team as a whole, if we had a man to carry us to the next weigh-in, it would give us a better shot at winning the next weigh-in, rather than if we had four girls who were about the same weight. So. Bottom line, though, to that part is we don't really want to go back to that elimination room next week. So that means we need to get a little more competitive. I don't want craziness in the house, and I don't want to make it about winning, because it's not. But if we want to stay, we need to get a little, a little more competitive. I don't want to leave, and I feel like I will push myself till I've got no more to the very end. You know, we, we do want to be here, and we do want this. We do have the desire for this. I get you. I, I have get you. huge goals, and I never in my life ever, I set these goals for myself, and I never go for them. And I'm going for them, and I'm not going to stop. Phil, I got to ask you a tough question. Because had we won last night, Amy would have gone home. Mm -hmm. And this week, the same. Are you willing to be the pound that sends her home? Yeah, I have to be. Because it could happen. I know. I am in direct competition with my wife, and I have to come to grips with that fact. And if I want to be the biggest loser, then I'm going to have to completely focus on myself. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> it's not. But it never is here. Are we ready to kick some ass this week? I mean, <laughs> God, we've got to. Let's do it. Bob said we were gonna be doing something really fun. You know, Amy P and I were like, ooh, we're gonna go shopping with Bob, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And we ended up going to this place and it was called Absolution. Here we go, guys. Hey, guys. Oh my gosh. We walked in and Bob was hanging up on this silk trapeze thing. And we we're like, what the crap? This is gonna be Brady in a little while. Ooh, who's that? Two guys in harnesses. Oh my gosh. What do they need the harness for? I know that my entire team is going to benefit from doing the ropes course. This is a good lesson for them to stay focused on the things that matter. And I'm hoping it'll re-energize us. I have a huge fear of heights. So the thought of me being strapped up with the harness and ropes and stuff, and then having to climb up a 40-foot pole, I'm like, no, my feet stay on solid ground. Oh, my Lanta. Bob thought it would be fun to do a different kind of workout. This workout involved doing Cirque du Soleil type movements, wrapping yourself up in fabric and hanging from trapezes, all these kind of things that require strength and flexibility. <laughs> Sorry. To me, you learn about yourself in the free fall of life. And let me tell you, when you're hanging from a trapeze, 
<laughs> You're in the free fall of life. Oh, fabulous. Okay. See if you can push your knees together. Right. Um, can you get them together? It is a lot harder than it looks. I mean, that takes so much strength. There you go. That's it. Lift, lift that leg up. Lift that leg up. No, out to the side. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the secret to climbing well is to remember two things. Number one, you want to use your legs. Number two, don't quit. Are you going for the full thing? Are you going for that ring? I, I'm going to try to jump out towards the ring, yes. Uh, to use the word try is to quit with honor. OK. So I won't try. I'll just do it. I had to climb up about 35 feet up in the air and get on top of a little platform. It was called the leap of faith. Are you freaking? Serious. I saw Phil, and I think my heart almost beat out of my chest. I not only have the fear of falling, but just what's going to happen to me on the way down, and all kinds of panicky thoughts run through my head. Oh, my God. Stay focused. Get those feet under you now. Phil, that's it. That is awesome. Woo! Coming up, the contestants come face to face with their fears. Oh. What did you do? I climbed to the top! Oh. No! No! And later, ah! the last chance workout you'll have to see to believe. Push! Ah! Push! Oh my God, I can't. Push! I can't. <laughs> go, 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 Phil! Damn it! Go! I'm smelling fat burning up in this room. Wow. When I stepped up on that, platform. I was obviously really shaky and nervous. Oh my god. But instead of just stopping right there in my fear, I decided to push on through. Woo! Ah! That was really close, buddy. That was amazing. You did great. Come on. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself today because to know that all the weight we've lost and as far as we've come in the last six weeks, it's just amazing the things that we're doing today versus what we did when we got here. That is really fun. <laughs> this course has got to be one of my biggest nightmares, if anything. Like, I don't even want to turn around and look at it because I just keep thinking of myself having to go up in the air and being like suspended in the air and it's freaking me out. Keep your booty up high. Look what you're doing with your legs. Find your balance. Yes, go, 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 go. I have you, I have you, I have you. Open up that left leg. Yes! Yeah! Good girl! Just losing this weight, like 40 pounds so far, I really can tell in my body when I'm doing different things now. One pull up. Arms, oh. arms, arms! <laughs> Sorry. It really showed us how much strength we had gained, both lower and upper body. And uh, it was amazing to kind of put that to the test. Very good. Very good. You going up again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Lean. Yeah. That's it. Lean. Lean. Yeah. OK, that's not going to work. Should I go? Yep. I'm on. I'm on. Just find your rhythm. There you go. <laughs> Renee, you're just going to follow your rope all the way up. <laughs> Duck under to the right. This isn't just pushing me out of my comfort zone. It's like standing where I'm comfortable and then like kicking me and then throwing me across the line of comfort. Are you ready? No? Just one step at a time. Yeah. Slow and steady. I wanted Michelle and Renee to do that walk because symbolically, it's time for Michelle to start meeting her mom halfway. My legs shake uncontrollably. Last week, I was really seriously considering going home. My bags were packed. I was ready to walk out the door and say goodbye. I'm afraid that if in some way I love her that I'll lose you. Shelly, that is, that's silly. You need your mama. After the phone call home to my dad, I realized that it's OK to stay. Almost there. Renee, stop. Stay and wait for Michelle. Is this as close as we get? No, you got to finish going. <laughs> She's halfway. <laughs> Renee is continuously reaching out to Michelle, and Michelle is just now starting to become receptive and open. So more and more, I want to push Michelle into going towards her mom, reaching out to her mother, meeting her mom halfway. A relationship is a two-way street. Relax. Whoa. 
I did feel strong when we were holding hands, and I felt good about that. I felt like we're together, we're here, this is our journey together. I thought it showed that, you know, we really are, have built a trust, you know, from, from scratch. So that was a really, really exciting moment to be able to share it with her. I love you. Welcome to assailant defense class. This is your padded assailant, Gus. Gus. You better be padded. He had a bunch of padding on. He had this big helmet on. And basically, we were going to beat him up for the day. You ready? Yeah. yeah. He is the one who takes all the punishment from those women, those angry women. Hey, what's going on? Hey, you help, man. Look, man, I don't want any trouble. That girl, Lisa, man, she's nothing to mess with. Just tell me what to stop right there. Stop right there. Tell me what the problem is. I don't want any trouble. No! 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 911. The lady um, was really serious about her job. I'm striking underneath his chin, trying to get his head to go back. Because where the head goes, the body will follow. I was like, oh no, I hope we don't have to fight her. I'd rather try to beat him up. Step and yell, go. No! Good. Now step back and now step and yell, go. No! Knee to, knee to the groin, knee to the head. Oh, knee to the head. Yeah. No, but that's Sorry, that you got hit way, way harder than that. <laughs> Amy P. She was just like Miss South Carolina. Step and knee. No. 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 Hello, Mel. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I was cracking up. Ah. There you go. Step. No. Oh, did I hit his eyes? Look all the way around. Oh. Look all the way around. And go get help. The assailant exercise is about learning something new about yourself. What you do in an uncomfortable situation, what you do in a challenging situation. Step back. I'm warning you. No! 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 Beautiful. Happy just kicked his butt. Look around. Look behind you. Look behind you. I don't mess around. Colleen, let's go. You got it. Strong. I have a huge fear of height. It's, it's the biggest fear I have of anything. And I know I'm going to be strapped in, and I know they keep telling me I'm safe, but I doubt myself, and I'm just really, really afraid right now. Embrace it. <sighs> I'm just trying not to have a panic attack. Here are our choices. We can have a panic attack, and we cannot do it, and potentially regret that decision. Oh! Ah! Come on. No, get the rope. It's your body. Do you control it? Do you control it? Yes. Tell me I control my body. I control my body! Oh, my God. You're almost there. Honey, you're almost there. Colleen, you're doing it. Colleen, you are doing it. You got it. You got it. You got Woo. it, Colleen. Woo. Yes! I cannot. You are. You are. Oh, my God. You're oh. already up. Take a minute. I climbed to the top. You need to own that. What did you do? I climbed to the top. What are you going to do now? I don't know. You're going to finish, aren't you? <laughs> Colleen, stand up. You got it. You got it. It's you, baby. You got it. Hold on. Oh. Say, I got it. Say, I got it. I got it. You got it. Wait, wait. Oh. wait. Jump! Oh. You go. You're on the ground. Oh. You're on the ground. You did it. <laughs> Now that I've faced my fear of heights, it really does show me that I can face anything in life, no matter what's thrown at me, and that I can handle it no matter what. What do you think about that? I think it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the Biggest Loser is not just about hours in the gym or counting calories. Ultimately, it's about getting uncomfortable, facing your fears, putting yourself out there. So I'm hoping when they go back home, They'll be able to use this experience when they're afraid in a different aspect of their life.
Trick or treat. This Halloween, you can give the treat without the sweet. Instead of candy, give a small toy and put a smile on every kid's face. And you'll also be teaching them that the healthy choice can be the best choice. With Play-Doh, the fun will last long after the trick or treating's done. Happy Halloween! Today we're going to Dr. H's and I'm really excited to see how much I've accomplished from week one to now at the halfway point. We get in this thing called the bod pod and it's kind of just like a big egg and we sit in it and it measures our body fat percentage. We lay on the idexa table and that scans our whole body to see how much fat we have surrounding our muscle and bone. It's pretty neat all the tests they can do to show like how far our body has come and how much progress we're making. How you doing? Good to see you. Okay. The twins. <laughs> <laughs> I am really anxious about seeing Dr. Heizanga today. Uh, last time I talked to him, it wasn't good news. I want to show you what we estimate inside you, what your true biologic age is, not 26. My body's screaming from the inside. Remember we said you really were like a 40-year-old woman when we talked originally, and you're only 26 years old? Right. Because of the substantial fat loss and because of the marked improvement in your blood pressure and your lipid levels, you know, we're basically, I, I would calculate you're at about 34 now. Wow, getting down there. <laughs> what, what is that? That's six years for six weeks? It's not a bad trade-off, right? No, not at all. I was mortified the first time when he told me my, uh, my age, and so to hear now that I had kind of turned back the clock a little bit, it really motivated me to just to keep going. You know, you're definitely making progress, and Renee is really showing the light. We, we said she was kind of at a 66-year-old heart function biological age, and you've knocked that down to 44. In only the six short weeks that we've been here, I feel better than I've ever felt before. I feel younger. <laughs> I feel like I can do um, anything almost right now. Well, you're getting younger, and by the time you know you <laughs> leave here, hopefully you'll be essentially exact the same age as your daughter. If, if <laughs> my plans work out right, okay? Great. Brady, you had a drop in your your cardiac age you know we kind of paid you at a you know a 72 year old man could have done what you did when you came in here and you were trying and now you know you've knocked that down to you know you're at something closer to 43 year old man which is which is great when i started off here i could barely walk the treadmill on a 2.5 you know with a slight incline and now i can jog at a 6.0 for 30 minutes you know so you can definitely see the difference Vicki, you have lost 38 pounds of hydrated fat in six weeks. And it's really something to be proud of. And in the face of that, you've also gained two pounds of muscle. The majority of people, when they lose weight, they tend to lose at least a third of it is lean tissue. And you've turned around and gained muscle in the face of that, which is really, really something. I can tell that, you know, my heart is stronger. I can work out longer. And I know just from my physical fitness that I'm doing a lot better. And Dr. H confirmed that. You know, because you were morbidly obese in the cigarettes, you were, I think we gave you a biological age of 47, mm -hmm. and, and you were only 26, 34. Wow. Good. That makes me feel a lot better. I dropped my age down to 34, so I'm almost at my right age for my body, my cardiac fitness, you know. I'm, I'm now 34 years old, so I feel better than 47, because I definitely don't want to be the same age as my father. Phil, your body fat was 47%. You had chest pain and dizziness when you exercised. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't know if you were gonna, you know, grab your chest and fall over. So in the last six weeks, you've lost more fat than you've lost weight. Awesome. You're basically kind of knocking on the door from, you know, morbid obesity to just plain old fashioned obesity. I can, um, you know, touch my toes, so I'm getting there. You're reintroducing yourself to the bottom half of your body? <laughs> exactly, I can see it. <laughs> it was one of those opportunities to sit and talk to the doctor and get some good news for a change and, and have him pat me on the back that, 
you know, I'm out of the danger zone in a lot of things. Amy, uh, you've also, you know, done yourself pretty proud because she's actually lost about 20% of her abdominal volume already. I mean, you've really put a move in there. <laughs> the opportunity that we have here, it, it's just wonderful because you don't have to think about the bills and the kids and the homework and all that. It really encouraged me and made me feel like finally in my life I'm on the right path. You're how old? I just turned 24. Well, last time, the amount that you were able to do on the treadmill, that was the average amount that a 55-year-old person that wasn't even in shape could do. So we kind of aged your heart at 55 years old. Oh my God, 55, I mean, that's almost senior citizen status. We've recalculated it, and uh, basically, you know, you're where a 30-year-old is. So we, we've gained a lot on the heart front still not back to your age right but you've come a huge distance i want to be 24 and do things that 24 year olds do sitting at home on your couch not doing anything is not something a 24 year old should be doing i should be out and about just living life and it just shows that this is the right path and this is what i've been fighting for since week one when you started what do you think your body fat was somewhere between like 45 and 60. i mean i would guess I'm, i got a lot of fat on me 52% is where we started this whole journey. So over half of me. You lost 38 pounds of fat. Wow. In six weeks, that's, that's almost, that's getting close to a pound of fat a day. The number one reason that I stayed instead of Ed is because I'm the one that's gonna be carrying our child and I'm absolutely not in any shape to carry a child right now. But at least I'm going in the right direction. You know, unfortunately, a lot of people in the country that start out at your weight just can't get the momentum to get started. It's really sad, you know, because nobody believes in them. They don't believe in themselves. Their doctors don't believe in them. So I'm just really happy that you, you know, did this and, you know, you're showing other people that they can do it as well. And um, I'm really happy for you. Well, walking up to the challenge, I was a little nervous because I saw water and then I saw two giant rings that looked like balance beams. And I'm like, oh, this is a balancing challenge. Great. I have no balance whatsoever. Looks like I'm going in the water. Coming up on The Biggest Loser, the contestants face off in a challenge that's all about balance. But it's the last chance workout where they're really pushed to the edge. Go, 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 Phil! Go! Ah. Ah. Gary! What is this contraption? We're walking up and I see two black circles and a metal arch over it with a laser kind of going crazy. And then I'm thinking, oh God, what am I going to have to do? Welcome, everyone, to tonight's challenge. The only way for you to maintain your balance is an unwavering focus. The only way to do that is to take it one step at a time. Tonight's challenge is no exception. Here's how tonight's challenge is going to work. Each team has a balance beam. On my go, everyone will walk around in a circle on the balance beam. Every time a member of your team walks underneath that laser beam, you get one point. The first team to 25 points wins. If a team member falls into the water, you're out. And the only way you can get back into this game is if everyone from both teams falls in. Then we will reset, get everyone back on their balance beams, and keep going. The winning team will earn videos from home. <laughs> when I heard Allison say the prize would be videos from home, I thought, I need that prize. I want that prize. We've been here for six weeks, and just seeing my husband would do me a world of good. I immediately get choked up because I can just see my dad like smiling at the video and like saying hi to me and I can just see Ed and the dog. I'm already like imagining about this video and I'm like this is a pretty sweet prize. Black team you only have four members to participate so blue team you can choose one member of your team that will sit out tonight. You can't do it right? 
Honestly, how bad do y'all want this? What do you think? I You're mean, like, I'll no try. way. You know, it was a challenge that I really didn't think the prize was worth it, but I knew the rest of my team wanted it, so I was willing to give it a fighting chance. Blue team, I'm gonna need a decision. Amy C is gonna sit out, she has an injured knee. Thank you very much. All right, teams, let's get you suited up and ready for the challenge. This thing is so wobbly. Oh, jeez. Please don't fool me. I apologize in advance <laughs> for my performance in this challenge. Absolutely insane. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to go. Ready? I'm going to be cussing this whole f thing. Get set. I'm scared. <laughs> go. This race is on. Remember, if you fall in, you're out. And after only a few steps, that's it. Amy is in the water. All right, go ahead. You, know, you got it? Phil, slow and steady for the black team. <laughs> Vicky takes a dunk. Another blue team member is in the water after just a couple steps. <laughs> Let me keep some distance, guys, OK? As I started, I heard a ka-plunge, ka -plunge behind me, but I couldn't look because I had to keep myself focused on coming around one time, but 25 revolutions around. I don't know if I can balance on that thing that long. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So no laps have been completed yet, and Blue Team, you only have two members left competing. Heba struggling to maintain her balance, and oh, she's in the water. Blue Team, you got one team member left. Brady, you're in. You fall in and your whole team is out. We'll see how the black team does. Colleen focusing on her first few steps. Phil about halfway around the bar. <sighs> Brady is trying to stay focused. Colleen starting to look a little shaky up there. <sighs> oh! And Colleen is in the water. You girls gonna have to start moving. Phil is getting close to Michelle and Renee. You guys are gonna have to get in gear. Oh, man. Brady's about halfway around. Brady, you look good. You look like our strong leader. Phil is approaching the laser. Will he be the first one to score? Oh! Phil has completed one lap. One point for the black team. I'm at one with the water, or the beam. Brady, the blue team is counting on you. You fall in, and the entire blue team is out of this game. Michelle is starting to look a little wobbly up there. Brady on his way to completing his first lap for the blue team. Oh, he is in the water. That's it. The entire blue team is out of this game without having completed one lap. Brady fell off. So we have no people up on the beam, and it was kind of like our worst nightmare. Who knows how long it's going to be until all of them fall off and we can try again. We're done. We, we can't go to the all fall I know. Towel, please. Well, the good news is we can watch them torture themselves for the next 12 hours. Shh. Can you guys not talk? No, we oh, love yeah. to talk. It's frustrating because we have to wait till every single black team member falls off for us to get back up and try again. So we're trying our hardest to heckle the crap out of them so that they'll fall off and, and we can all get back up again. <laughs> we can talk a lot. Phil, don't worry about it. You're fine. I don't care if like, I can't walk tomorrow. You know, you sit there and watch us like kill ourselves, but we're just doing the challenge. I didn't say that. Whoever said it. As I'm standing on the platform, the entire blue team was already up there. And, you know, they start talking to my team while my team's trying to focus. And it was getting on my nerves. The entire black team was sitting up there. We wouldn't have been smack talking to the blue team because we have class. Just take your time. It's not like we can gain on you. Michelle completes one turn on the balance beam. That's two points for the black team. Renee is underneath the laser beam. That is three points for the black team. Four points for the black team. The black team is just strong. Michelle and Renee have their own pace. Phillip's like a little bit on their heels, but they've got a method. Five points for the black team. Renee, six points. There's seven. Seven points. Eight points. Nine. Ten points. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I mean, the points are just racking up. 
And I was so frustrated because they have three people, we have none, and we have to stand here until someone falls or they hit 25. 10 more laps and the black team wins. Uh-oh. Oh, and Michelle is in the water. It is down to Renee and Phil. Can they complete the last 10 laps and take the black team to a victory? Good job, Michelle. It's got to be hard, Amy, to watch Phil. He's on the other team. Yeah, it's hard to, I, I keep going, yay, and then I'm like, wait a minute, he's not on my team anymore. You can still root for me as a human being. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm forbidding you from doing that. Heaven won't let me. <laughs> I feel like I need to be loyal to my team, but then also that is my husband. And so we're, we're dealing with this personal game scenario all over again, and it gets kind of tricky. Um, but, you know, I just have to walk the line. Looks like the last two members of the black team are getting in a rhythm on that bounce team. Phil makes it 16 points for the black team. Phil almost loses his balance, but he refocuses, gets it right back. Well, I started to lose my balance, and I felt like if I took off and ran a little bit, I would uh, get to a point where I could regain my balance. Phil decided to move super fast. Just because your heart isn't pounding doesn't mean you're not getting a good workout. Core workouts are focused on improving strength and stability of the torso. Holding a yoga or Pilates pose offers as much of a challenge as a sweat-drenched workout. Start by counting five to ten breaths and then gradually work up to holding the pose for one minute. These workouts offer benefits such as improving posture and strengthening the lower back as well as your abdominals. Oh. Well, I started to lose my balance, and I felt like if I took off and ran a little bit, I would get to a point where I could regain my balance. Phil decided to move super fast. Hey, my oh, Phil, jump into the water. Well, I knew I was going in, so you might as well go in with a bang. I wish we could just get back on there. I was so frustrated because the rules stated that you couldn't get back up there unless the whole other team fell because I wanted to get right back up there and try again. Renee, the sole member of the black team still standing. If Renee hits the water, everyone gets to get back up and keep going. When Phil fell off, I knew it was just me. All of a sudden, I started getting a little sweaty and a little tight. I thought, okay, relax, breathe, and just take it step by step by step. Can Renee bring her team a victory? Another point, 17, Renee. Lap after lap, Renee is just going around this beam and she's not flinching, she's just racking up to the point. Black team has 21. 22 points, 23 points, 24. This is the black team's challenge to win, as long as she just keeps going. At this point, we're just kind of watching, like, is she really gonna do this on her own? <laughs> Congratulations! Renee, that is 25 points for the black team. I have no idea what came over my mom. I knew she could do it enough to, like, get through a couple of laps, but to see her keep going and going and going and lead us to a victory, that I didn't expect at all. Congratulations! Renee, you're amazing. Being 10 to 20 years older than everybody on my team and still playing the game good with them feels pretty good. Victory is sweet. <laughs> Can somebody rescue me? <laughs> Congratulations, Renee. Thank you. 25 points for the black team. You brought them to victory. You did nine laps all by yourself. I just kept going, just look at the first step. And I thought slow and steady wins the race. Videos from home. It's a great Yay. reward. Well, we can't leave without talking about this score, blue team. 25 to 0. Not your best showing out there in the challenge world. You know what? You win some and you lose some. I really thought that the prize was kind of lame and I really didn't want it, so I didn't think we should do it at all. You didn't want the reward? No. It was just not worth it. They wanted the reward, and so that's why I got it there and gave it a fair shot, because my team wanted to. Seeing a video of my kids again, you know, really didn't mean that much. Now, when there's a two-pound penalty or immunity at stake, I mean, it's a little bit different, because that says whether or not you stay or go. 
but this was truly just something luxury. And I don't feel pride when I win a challenge that's that trivial. Congratulations to everyone on the black team. You are going to get videos from home. And I hope you enjoy them because remember, everyone, we are facing a way in. And that is what keeps you in this game. Everybody in one piece? Hi. Everyone alive from the challenge? Did you win? Not so much. I was definitely not excited to go over the results of the challenge with Bob, especially since his team had lost miserably, like 25 to goose egg. There were two balance beams, and you had to walk across them, and each person gets a point as soon as you pass under the arch. The first team to get to 25 actually wins. How many did you make? Zero. Goose egg. The fact that my team scored uh, nothing and the black team wiped the floor with them, <laughs> I was really upset. Not having any practice, that's a hard thing to get on the first try. It wasn't hard for the black team. The okay. prize was what? Videos from home. You know, I really didn't what think the videos from home was worth, you know, getting hurt over. If the prize in a challenge is letters from home or two pound advantage or a pack of gum, who cares? You go in and you do the best that you can do. It's not going to be about winning prizes today or anything like that, but it is going to be about getting you to do things that you thought you could have never done before. I think Bob's trying to probably encourage me, but um, seriously, my ultimate goal is for Brady and I to bring home $350,000. You know, I think one of us can win two hundred and fifty, dollars and one of us can win 100000 And, you know, that's what we want to do in this game. Let me tell you, I, I would have loved to walk in here no matter what, be it videos or be a two-pound uh, disadvantage, as long as you tried your hardest. When Bob shared his disappointment with us, I was kind of a little bit disappointed in my own team that night. Their attitude towards the whole challenge was kind of negative, and I feel like you always have to have a positive attitude if you're going to ever win any kind of challenge in life. The challenges are going to be like crazy at times, and I don't want you to be injured, but I want you to make the best out of it. They should have fun doing this and not walk in and just go, oh, this challenge isn't going to do me any good, so I'm just not even going to worry about it. I mean, what kind of attitude is that? No matter what, you need to put in your full force effort. Try your hardest. The reward from the challenge was actually going to be a video from home, and I was so happy that we had won the challenge, and this was our prize. I turned the power onto the TV, and I see them all sitting there, and I realize it's not a video, that they're actually sitting there, and all of a sudden, their TV must have turned on because they all reacted. All of the people that I love, my dad, my brothers, my sisters, are all there looking right back at me, and that was... Fabulous. <laughs> you excited? You happy? Everything's good? Things are going really good here. And every day is a new adventure. Miss it's a big you. time. Hey, and we are so proud of you. To know that my family is supporting me back home is, is just such a wonderful feeling. You know, Dad loves you, Shelly. You know, Dad loves you more than the whole world. I miss you. I really do. But you need to finish this thing and really put yourself in that place, in that position to express who you are, you know, um, and represent us, you know, represent your family. My dad's great. He's very much a person of, of strength in my world. And so to have my dad reassure me that he supports me being here and he wants to see me change and to stay here and work hard and to hear those things from my dad was great. Well, I have to go, but uh, I love you guys. We love you, Shelly. Love you, Shelly. We love Mama, you. Mama. High five, everybody. High five. Surprise! How you doing, baby girl? Hi! I saw my dad, my two sisters, my boyfriend Bob, and his brother. It was great. You look really awesome, Colleen. Yeah, Colleen, you look amazing. Thanks. I just miss you guys so much. Dad, you look so good. You don't know how good this is. This has helped me so much. I'm off all my medicine. 
Uh, I'm down 10 pounds since we left. I'm down to 350. I can tell differences in my dad from the moment he left. His face looks different, and like he's he's got this under control, and, and it definitely it lets me know that my dad and I as a team made the right decision. Hi, baby. <laughs> this is really. <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend was just in such like shock. He could barely speak. It was really cute. You're just so beautiful. Aww. You're cute, Dad. It's not the same without you, Colleen. I mean, this experience has taught me how much you really mean to me. We've never been apart like this, and it's definitely uh, tough. We're going to be thinking about you after this, and uh, this is going to make us stronger at home. And we hope that you go out doing what you do because you got the tenacity to do it, girl. All right, I love you guys, and mwah. To see my family and my boyfriend, and it just makes me want to go further and, and really change and just really shock them the next time I see them. Tonight, in the first hour of The Biggest Loser, the contestants climb to new heights. What did you do? I climbed to the top! And learn to literally fight for their lives. Yeah! No! No! I don't mess around. And during a challenge, the blue and black teams were at odds. Can you guys not talk? No, we love to talk. But Renee remained focused and led the black team to a victory. Stay tuned to find out what will happen next in an all-new hour of The Biggest Loser. We won the challenge, and our prize was videos from home. Is this really live? <laughs> it's been almost two months since I've seen my husband, or my dogs, and they come up on the screen, and I realize it's live, and we can actually talk, and I am so excited. Hey. Hey. You know how much I love you? I love you more. Being able to talk to my husband... And seeing him after so long was worth more than any money, prize, any boat, whatever they could have given me. Made my day. Hang in there, right? I will. I love you. Okay. Kisses. Bye. 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 Hey. Bye. Hey, everybody. It was great. I got to see my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. And I got to see two of my sons. Austin, he's my oldest, and Rhett is our youngest child who's autistic. Hey! How you doing, Daddy? I'm doing really good, Rhett. You look like you're doing good. Hey, Daddy, I lost the two. <laughs> you did? It was just so good to find out everything was okay at home. Well, listen, Mama didn't get to come see everybody today, but I'll tell her that I saw you and you look good. You took her that we love her and we, we're real proud of both of you, Phil. Sure. Bye, Daddy! Bye, I love you. It just gave me a good, confident feeling to continue on the path I'm on because I know that I have all the support in the world of my family. Last chance workout. Two, one, let's go. One minute. Strong, confident blue team. It's all yours. I'm in a precarious position on my team. I know that there are other people that have alliances with each other that I don't have. So my only option is just to be the top. <sighs> I have to be the biggest loser this week. Push. <sighs> lift. Lift as high as you can. I just think I'm more determined than most people. Once I set my mind to something, I get it accomplished. And anything that gets in the way of that is targets for me to take out. You know, I know that that's what I have to do to stay here. You're smelling fat burning up in this room. Straighten those legs. This last chance workout, I really would like to see some puking. If you're not puking, you're just not working hard enough. Renee, would you like for me to make Phil throw up today? <laughs> you're kidding, right, with the hands? You're kidding. I'll break every finger. Hey, Brady. Yes, sir. Have a seat. I decided that it was time to really push Brady on the leg press with 670 pounds. Last chance workout, Brady. Nice. That's seven. Are we going to eight or ten? Ten. That's right. I don't even think I could press 670 pounds on the leg press. Good. Brady, that was awesome.
You want to get in there and do your very best because every drop of sweat turns into pounds. And pounds on that scale, if it's not being your friend that week, you're going home. Go, 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 Phil! Go! Phil, damn it! Go, head up, head up, head up. Jump, recover. We're gonna do this ten and a half times. Oh, come on. You're cruel and unusual. Okay, Phil, go. No. What? I don't have the breath for it. Buddy, ten seconds. I did a no-no, and I said I can't once, so there's something that triggers her when you say that. Now, Phil, get on. Phil, either throw up or get on the treadmill. Okay, let me get throw up then. Are you gonna throw up? You're not gonna throw up, Phil. Are you out of your mind? There's just days where she's like uh, the older sister you want to punch, but you can't. No, my f headaches! Get down here. Now, push ups. God! I don't care. Push ups. And I don't care. Hold, hold. Right here, hold. Phil, get in the gym! Oh my god! Last chance, Michelle! Last chance! Work out! Go! Let's go, Michelle. I do not want to lose this way, and you understand me? Jillian has a way of just pushing you further than you think that you should even go. Come on. Come on, Michelle. <laughs> Fight for it. Let's go. Four. <laughs> up. Three. Two. One. Good. It's going to be hard to do this and cry. You cry when you're done with this. Last chance workout. Push. Push. <laughs> my biggest inspiration is my wife. I saw her pushing 450 pounds with her legs, and she was making sounds that I haven't heard since she gave birth to our children. Ah! Push! Oh my God, I can't. Push! I can't. Push! Ah! Ah! Push! I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't! Push! I can't! I can't! I felt like oh. my legs were gonna break in half. <laughs> I just burst into tears because I just thought I cannot do this. Amy, we're doing that again. <laughs> This blue team has worked really hard. Three, that's it. So hopefully all the things we did this week are gonna be enough. And if it's not, it's gonna suck. That's it. Lower. Oh. Yo. What? You look, Brady looks like scared. No, listen, Brady just told me something. Brady told you what? Yeah, so Vicky and I were walking around, uh, bouncing the basketball. I said, well, you keep bouncing, and I'm going to go up and get the other one. As I am walking to the court, he comes out the side door, Philip. Mm -hmm. He goes, um, you guys swear to God, you're not going to say anything, but I'm about to tell you. And I'm like, what are you talking about, you're man? Like, and I, really... I threw in the basketball, and then sure enough, like, two minutes later, he just starts unloading. He's like, hey, man, look, uh, I don't know what's going to happen at that weigh-in, but uh, my, my wife really needs to stay. He said, well, honestly, I think that you and uh, and Vicky, you know, y'all could get together with, with Amy P., man. Y'all could send Heather's ass packing, man. Because she don't, uh, you know, she's always up to, up to some, <laughs> you know, always hugging on Bob and all this in front of cameras. What? Yeah. Philip had approached Brady in an attempt to create an alliance to get rid of me, um, which was a huge mistake on his part because Brady and Vicky are my best friends here. Gameplay is one thing, but saying personal stuff like, who do I think I am, hugging Bob, and right. he has just got hate in his heart, and I don't know where it's coming from, but frankly, I don't care. He needs to worry less about me and more about losing weight. Yeah, he does. Like, the pot, going to my sure. good friends. I'm just letting you know what's going through that noggin of his. The noggin. Not a whole lot in there. I don't know. I think they play in a game, and it's just not a good one. But why would you want to be that sloppy about it? Like, that unintelligent. It's like... But I'm wondering if 
Amy P's got a little something to do I'm with sure that. Sure you think he's smart enough to do it on his own? Hell no. That's that's my I think point. She sent, just, him. she sent him. I think Amy has a huge influence on Philip. Philip is very weak, and without his wife pushing him, he would be nothing. Well, it definitely threatens like Amy P's stance here. I mean, if we fall below. Amy P's a threat in this game. Her husband can win this whole damn thing, and he's a lot stronger with her here than he is if she's gone. I mean, they're husband and wife, you know? I mean, she's sleeping with the enemy. I know. I guess we'll just see what happens. Coming up on The Biggest Loser, it's a showdown at the week six weigh-in with one family squaring off against each other. I'm black, she's blue, so... Will the black team fall below the yellow line and face the elimination room again? Tonight's weigh-in, I'm definitely feeling like we did everything we possibly could. I mean, we literally poured our hearts into the gym this week, and I'm feeling really good about what the end results are going to be. This week, I really want the blue team to win, but that being said, Brady and Heather and I have an alliance, and it was kind of a win-win-win situation. If we lose, I'm not going home. If we win, I'm not going home, so it really doesn't matter to me. Welcome, everyone. One person wins this game. One person will walk away the biggest loser. But if you want to get there, if you want to get to that place, right now, it's about teamwork. Black team, for the second week in a row, you won the challenge. You did a great job. Congratulations. The black team won a pretty amazing reward. Phil, what was it like being able to see your family, talk to them? Two of my kids I got to talk to today, and uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, so that was great. It must have been bittersweet getting to enjoy that reward without Amy. I made copious notes of everything that the kids said and came back and uh, got a few minutes to go over some of the little things that my kids shared and said, and it was good to be able to do that, but I'm black, she's blue, so here we are. Well, tonight is another test for you as a team, the most important test. We'll weigh you in as a team, and the team with the greatest percentage of weight loss wins. The losing team will go to the elimination room and vote to send the eighth player home tonight. The player on the losing team with the highest percentage of weight loss has immunity and cannot be sent home. It's time to see what happens. Black team, we're going to start with you tonight. Renee, you won the challenge, so I'd like you to go first. All day, way in day, my stomach hurts. I feel nauseous. <laughs> Anything I eat, I feel like, oh my gosh, I feel sick. Up until the time I get off the scale, I am just sick to my stomach. Renee, last week you weighed 232 pounds. Your current weight is? Renee, your current weight is 225 pounds. You lost seven pounds this week. Feel happy with not just your success in the challenge, but how you're contributing to your team's weight loss this week. I haven't seen 225 in a long time. I feel pretty good about that. Hopefully, it'll be enough for our team. Congratulations, Renee. Thank you. Good job, Renee. Renee, you lost seven pounds. That means the black team starts off with seven pounds and a total percentage of weight loss of 0.77 percent. We'll have your daughter go up next. Michelle? Tonight's weigh-in for me. I didn't know what to expect. If my mom got seven pounds, there's no way that I was going to be able to match it or beat it, because all these weeks, I've not really ever come close to her numbers. She's always done much better than me, so I was scared. Michelle, your previous weight was 209 pounds. Your current weight is? Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. 
I am so proud of Michelle. She's committed to being here, and I was just so excited for her because she looks smaller to me, but I thought, oh, maybe that's just because I'm her mom. <laughs> but it was true. Good. Seven pounds. Michelle lost seven pounds this week, making the black team's total so far 14 pounds for total percentage weight loss of 1.54%. We have two people left to weigh in on the black team. Colleen. Walking up to the scale, you feel like you want to faint. It's just a very nervous moment, and because there are no guarantees on the scale, you could gain or lose weight. I really feel like everything that I did this week, I'm definitely hoping for it to Pay off with at least a five pound weight loss. Colleen, last week you weighed 187 pounds. Your current weight is. Colleen, last week you weighed 187 pounds. Your current weight is. Awesome. Yeah, that is so good. Oh, that was... I'm not sure That's crazy. Did you do that? <laughs> Eight pounds? It's more than a pound a day. I couldn't believe it. I was blown away when she lost eight pounds. She's small. That's a lot of weight for her. That's impressive. I really, I feel like so good inside, like because this whole week has just been amazing. And honestly, without the support of my team, I don't know what would have happened. And eight pounds just is like the cherry on the top of the Sunday. Congratulations, Connie. Thank you. I'm really excited I lost eight pounds. I never pictured that as my number for the week, and I'm really, really just so proud of it because it is more than a pound a day, and I feel great. Oh, that's a great job. <laughs> Congratulations, Colleen. You lost eight pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 22 pounds for a total percentage weight loss of 2.43%, with one person left to weigh in. Phil, it's your turn. I'm the last one to go up on the scale tonight, and between the three ladies, they've lost 22 pounds. And I'm thinking, if the blue team somehow pulls out a great number on the scale, then it's probably me that's gonna go home if I don't hit it out of the park. Phil, last week you weighed 279 pounds. Your current weight is. How do you feel about that number? I just hope it's enough to, to help my team. It is time to find out. Thank you, Phil. I hit a seven, so I feel good about it on the one hand, but on the other hand, I think I've got 200 pound girls losing more weight than me. So I'm kind of nervous still at that moment to wait and see what the blue team does to know if I'm gonna be safe or not. Phil, you have lost 59 pounds since you came to campus. Oh, Congratulations. Phil, you lost seven pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 29 pounds for the week, with a total percentage of weight loss of 3.2. There it is, blue team. 3.2% means if the blue team wants to win this weigh-in, you need to have lost more than 36 pounds. After the black team weighed in, I just grabbed Bob's hand and I squeezed it really tight. Before we even get started, I'm thinking, it's a lot. It's a lot for five people. So we need to lose seven, 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 and two eights to overthrow black. Blue team, we're going to start you off with Amy C. I was the first one to weigh in for the blue team and the black team ended their weigh-in with 3.2%, which was amazing and made me really nervous. So I just wanted to get it over with. Amy, last week you weighed 100. 
99 pounds. Your current weight is. Current weight is 193. I feel really good about that. Congratulations, Amy. Good job. I lost six pounds. I thought that was pretty awesome. But is that good enough to keep us above the yellow line? Amy, you lost six pounds this week, starting the blue team off with a total percentage of weight loss of 0.52%. That means with four remaining blue team players, you need to have lost more than 30 pounds to beat the black team. Heba, last week you were the one to put the blue team over the top. It's your turn to weigh in. Yeah, girl. Heba's walking up to that scale, and I'm like, okay, you know what? Colleen lost eight pounds. Come on, Heba. You're a big girl. You're gonna lose a double digit then. Last week, you weighed 258 pounds. Your current weight is. Last week, you weighed 258 pounds. Your current weight is. Peppa loses five pounds. And I was like, oh, no. I did not feel really good about that number. How does that number stack up for you? This is OK. I mean, I'm still moving in the right direction. Congratulations, Heba. Thanks. I'm second, and I pull a five. And I was really hoping for a seven this week, and I don't know what happened. It was a huge letdown. Heba, you lost five pounds this week, making the blue team's total 11 pounds so far for a total percentage of weight loss of 0.96%. There are three remaining players to weigh in on the blue team. Amy, Vicky, Brady, you need to have lost more than 25 pounds in order to beat the black team and be safe from elimination tonight. Vicky, you're up. I am the third person to stand on the scale for the blue team, and I knew that it didn't matter what my weight was, I wasn't going home. Vicky, last week you weighed 211 pounds. Your current weight is. That's great. More than a pound a day. I mean, you really can't ask for more than that. That's just awesome. And you are at 203. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you. 203 is very respectable. So to see the eight pounds and know that I had done it, my body had responded to all the hard work, it's, it's a big accomplishment. It makes you feel very proud. Vicki, you lost eight pounds this week, adding to the blue team's total, making it 19 so far for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.66%. We have two people left to weigh in, Amy P. and Brady. Between the two of you, you need to have lost more than 17 pounds in order to beat the black team. 17 pounds is a lot, but it looks like we could do it. If Amy pulls a pretty decent number, I would feel like Brady could pick up the slack. Amy P., I'm trying to get on the scale. When I'm walking to the scale, I know that my options are this. I need to be the biggest loser of the week, or our team needs to win the way in because I know that if our team falls below that I'm in danger of being eliminated. Amy, do you have a certain number you're hoping for this week on the scale? That's eight pounds. Last week you weighed 193 pounds. Your current weight is. That's not good. It must be frustrating on so many levels for you personally, but also on behalf of your team. Yeah. When I saw that I had only lost two pounds, immediately I looked down at my team, and I looked at Bob, and I looked at his face, and he was really 
shocked and I'm sure sad. And I just felt immediately like I've let him down. Amy loses two pounds. And I saw her face just fall apart on that scale. And it broke my heart. Bobby, hey, I see you, you know, shaking your head, but you have something to say about two pounds? Uh, I, I'm flabbergasted. I just, I don't understand the, the two. I really don't. It sure was not her effort. Amy, it was not your effort. You were fantastic this week, running every day, always being optimistic every single day. That's who you are. You know, I just feel bad that I let him down. Thanks, Amy. You lost two pounds this week, adding to the blue team's total, making it 21 pounds so far for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.83%. We have one person left to weigh in. Brady, in order to beat the black team, you need to have lost more than 15 pounds. It's your turn to get on the scale. Finally, it's my turn to get up to the scale, and I approach it with as much confidence as I can muster up because I know I need to drop 16 pounds or my team is going to have to send somebody home. Brady, do you have a number in mind that you yeah. were thinking about this week? 269. I want to beat it by a pound. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Brady. Last week, you weighed 286 pounds. Your current weight is... beat the black team, you need to have lost more than 15 pounds. Last week you weighed 286 pounds. Your current weight is... When Brady lost three pounds, you could have picked my face up off the floor. What the hell is going on? Vicky is biggest loser. Brady loses three pounds. Are Vicky and Brady playing some game and I don't I, I don't know about it? Okay, that's true. Wow. Not what you were expecting. No, definitely not. I'm at a loss for words. I really am. Brady, your current weight is 283 pounds. You lost three pounds this week. Thanks. Thank you. Brady lost three pounds this week, making the blue team's total weight loss this week 24 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.09%. Sorry, blue team, that that is not enough to secure a victory. The black team has won the weigh-in. Congratulations, black team. Looks like you do work together as a team, and it's paying off. Blue team, I'm sorry to say that you are going to be up for elimination tonight. One of you will be going home. Vicki, you have the highest percentage of weight loss on your team, which means you are safe from elimination tonight. You cannot be voted out. Thank you. Bob, Jillian, it's time to say goodnight to your teams.
black team. Congratulations. You're free to go. Thanks. Blue team, this is a crucial decision. After tonight, the teams will be even. Four versus four. So you have one hour to figure out who to send home. A decision that you have to make for your team. Good luck. I'll see you in one hour. What are we going to do? I mean, I'm pleading my case because that's what I have to do. Because I know that I'm a target because I had a low number this week. I mean, I know that. I don't think that's why you'd be a target. I mean, if I was thinking about voting you off, it would be because you have a husband here. Philip's after me. Like, I'm not stupid. Like, I've heard things just even alone this week, and that's why this is really hard for me. Why would you say Philip's after you? I know for a fact that he said stuff about wanting to get rid of me just this week, and I was shocked, but I maybe you had nothing to do with it. He, I, I don't have okay. anything to do well, with it. Well, then he's right, but he's still your about. husband. And if it comes down to, like, me but or like someone else... But like I told else, you, if it comes between me and him, he's gone. I'm, I'm, the, I'm just I'm nervous. playing for me. Philip doesn't like me, Amy. It's no secret. I stopped talking but about Phillip him. is not on my, on I my don't care. Team. I'm just trying to explain to you how I feel. Like, I'm sick of him stirring up. I am so sick and tired of it. I haven't said one thing to you because I know it's not your problem, but he's screwing you by not shutting his mouth. But I am not him. Well, I am not him. Amy was leading her case, and my point to her was that you know, she has a husband here on the other team that has it out for me. He wants me gone. He's wanted me gone since day one. You know, I know she thinks that that shouldn't be a factor, but the fact is that she's married to Philip. It I'm matters. just asking what you would do, like, in my situation. I know exactly what I would do. Brady's not pulled a high number for three weeks in a row. Past three weeks? You've, yeah, for, for your weight, you've been one of the lower percentages. Two weeks. Yeah, get that straight. What were you? You were three, six, and what was we? Nine. Four? Nine. Nine. Yeah. I thought it was six. No, okay. it wasn't. Upside down six. So I'm just saying that doesn't matter. Yeah, but and I can look at it from the fact that you've kicked my ass every week. But for a team, you want somebody, you want somebody that lifts your team up when you're on teams. It's not fair. I don't even think this part is fair where it's based on popularity or scheming or whatever. I think it should always be based on your weight loss. I feel like that from day one, you guys have already had a, a agreement or whatever between yourselves. And I feel like my work in the gym doesn't mean anything because no matter what happened tonight, I, w I was going to be at a disadvantage. The first day we came into this house, um, Brady, Vicki, Ed, and Hebba were already acted like they'd known each other for years and years and years. So I've known the whole time I've been on my team that I was very vulnerable. You know, so was I right? It had, I mean, you have had an agreement. I mean, I'm one. friends with them. We have not had an there alliance no since day one. There was no official alliance no. about anything. That's what not since day one. I made an alliance with Heba and Ed the first week we got here. And so, you know, we've been gameplay talking since the very beginning. And I'm not sure if everybody's actually playing the game or if they're just, you know, here to lose weight, which is honorable, too. I've just played my case. And, and I feel like it doesn't matter what I say. No, it's, I'm not, but that's not what I was, I'm, I don't know. Yeah. I just think I have a lot of thinking to do. There's two different kinds of threats here. And Amy P has been number one or number two every single week she's been here. So when we hit singles, she's possibly going to push me below that line every time. But Brady hasn't been pulling his numbers, and he's been pulling the team down, so I'm not sure. I just need to be, like, settled in my head, and I'm just not quite there yet. Coming up, the Biggest Loser Transformation Moment. See how the eliminated players look today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. While every elimination is important and every decision difficult, the decision you had to make tonight could very well mean your success or failure in this game. Every decision you make from here on out will determine your outcome 
how long you stay on this ranch, how close you get to $250,000. I know these are difficult and they never get easier. So I think we should just get to it. We're gonna go around the room. Each of you will reveal whom you voted for and the person with the most votes will be asked to leave the Biggest Loser campus immediately. Vicki, since you had immunity this week, I'd like you to begin. I based my decision on the fact that I need to weaken the opposite team and the driving force behind a major player on the opposite team is Amy P. Amy P, that's one vote for you. If you receive two more votes, you'll be eliminated. Brady. I definitely uh, chose this person from a strategic standpoint in that uh, this move will definitely hamper uh, one strong individual on the black team. And for that reason, I vote for Amy P. Amy, that's two votes. If you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. Amy C., what were you thinking tonight? I'm gonna start crying right away. <laughs> um, I'm the new guy on this team, and it's devastating to know that um, just when I start to get to know everybody, somebody has to go home. Um, and the way I based my decision um, was strictly based on numbers. I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, the person I voted for was Brady. It's, it's okay as we are. Brady, that's one vote for you. If you receive the next two votes, you'll be eliminated. Amy P, if you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. But I know it won't be from you. What were you thinking tonight? What I was thinking is that on our team, there is an alliance of a husband and wife, and on the other team, there's an alliance of mother and daughter, and we had said last week that the smartest thing for you know, that team to have done would have been to separate the alliance. And so my thought process was that that would be the smart thing to do on this team as well, because they will probably always vote together. And so that is why I also voted for Brady. Nothing personal at all, because I think they're awesome. All right, Brady, that's two votes for you. Amy P, that's two votes for you. If either of you receives the next vote, you will be eliminated and asked to leave the Biggest Loser campus immediately. Heba, there's obviously a lot of different but all valid reasons for the decisions that were made tonight. What did you decide? A couple weeks ago, I had to make a decision to send my husband home. And I feel like this evening was no different. I'm looking at four people that are my family right now. And this was probably a harder decision than I expected it to be. I really went back and forth. And I just kind of said, you know, eventually this becomes an individual game and I had to look at how to try and protect myself and how to keep myself here, and that's what it came down to. But from protecting myself for the duration, um, I've decided to vote for Amy P. And I'm very, very sorry. Well, Amy P, with three votes, I'm sorry to tell you that you have been eliminated. You're gonna be leaving Phil behind. How does that make you feel? I'm really sad to be leaving um, Philip behind. But you know, I really kind of disagree with Brady and Vicky's theory that it's gonna hurt him. I think it's gonna fuel him. So we'll I worry. See. I worry for the blue team, my team. Amy, I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. And it's time for you to go. Okay. Love you. Bye, guys. Good travels. Okay. Bye. When I came here, I mean, I couldn't even walk on a treadmill for five minutes. And now I'm running and walking on treadmill for hours a day. And I've been able to be positive in the adverse circumstances. And I'm a pretty strong woman. I'm really strong. <laughs> and that's a good thing to know about yourself. I think there's a couple different types of people in the world. I think there's people that always see the glass half empty and it's people that always see the glass half full and I just happen to be a half-full person stuck on a half-empty team. <laughs> but 
The game's not over yet. In my mind, I am still in the game, and I'm going to keep playing it hard. And Heba thinks Ed's going to win the $100,000, but I've got a little surprise for him. This little South Carolina girl is going to give him a run for some money. America, the next time you see me, you won't even recognize me because I'm going to be little tiny and the best-looking 41-year-old you've ever seen. <laughs> when I came to the Biggest Loser Ranch, I was a size 20, and now I'm wearing a size 8. The life I'm living now is something that I thought I'd lost forever. Since I left the Biggest Loser Ranch, my life has really improved. I feel like I'm a much better mom now that I've lost this weight. Go fast! Going horseback riding is something I would have never considered doing before because I would be concerned for the horse. <laughs> Ready? Fast. Horses have a calming influence on autistic children. <laughs> Can you go fast? Is this fun? Yes. I could do so much more stuff with my mom now. I love riding horses with you, Mom. You do? Yeah. I love you, Rhett. I love my new skinny mom. <laughs> when Rhett was diagnosed, I really gave up a lot of dreams for him, and I gave up a lot of dreams for myself. And so now, going through this experience, I feel like a lot of those dreams are coming back to me, and I'm really excited about it.